it's Melissa and welcome back to Four Quarter Crafts. Today I have an adorable rustic Easter wreath to share with you guys. So let's get started with the supplies that I used for this project. I used a happy Easter sign, some polka dot burlap ribbon, white satin ribbon, a metal wreath form. I actually used five decorative nautical ropes, some white chalk paint, a bouquet of hydrangeas, two green garlands, some twine, some burlap ribbon, and then another bouquet of these kind of like Easter egg florals. So I'm going to cut off the Happy Easter carrots on the bottom and remove the bow. The bow is adorable. Um, I just kind of wanted to make it a little bit more my own, so I'm going to replace that. But since I do a lot of uh, my decorating in earth tones and neutrals. I wanted to blend in that orange of the nose just to kind of make it more of my own. So I'm taking this white chalk paint and I'm going to do two layers and I'm just using um, just a makeup brush from the Dollar Tree and using that as my paintbrush to fill in the orange part of the nose. And then I'm going to take some twine, it's the same twine as the hanger, and I'm going to cut a portion of that off and then put a circle of hot glue around the nose and do two layers um, just around the nose. You can see here I'm just wrapping it around. And I think this just gives it more of a finished, polished look. So here is me wrapping. And then I'm just going to cut off the rest and then trim his nose hairs <laughs> and then um, take this polka dot burlap ribbon. This is from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to cut off a portion for how big I want my bow to be. I'm going to fold it into itself in half in the center there and glue it. Put another dot of hot glue and uh, kind of crease up the sides there into the center. Give it a really good hard pinch and um, then I'm going to take another piece of the ribbon, kind of fold it in half and then half again, put some more hot glue into the center of my bow and then wrap it around and add more hot glue to the back, squeezing really tightly to keep that center nice and firm and tight and then cutting off any remaining uh, ribbon there. So then I'm just going to go back in and fluff up my bow. This is a wired ribbon, so it's very easy to fluff. And put some more hot glue and put my bow right back on that portion where I removed the original bow. So now I'm going to take my wired wreath form and put a line of hot glue on that uh, portion that kind of goes across all of the four layers. And then I'm really just going to wrap my wreath using this nautical rope. Um, I showed you four in the picture, I ended up using five, but really this is so easy. I'm just going to continue wrapping it all the way around. Um, I am pulling it tight. Um, one, of my, one of my portions actually bended part of the wreath form, so don't pull it too tight or it will bend the wreath form. Um, but just kind of continue pushing it as you go along. When one part of the nautical rope ends, I just glued it to the back and started right where I left off with a, another nautical rope and continued wrapping. And as you're wrapping, it's not going to um, lay exactly I guess flat because it's a circle so um, you might need to continue to just kind of push the rope as you go along to make sure it stays tight and then here I am wrapping the bottom once I get done I'm just um, filling in the space there so that's going to be the portion that I hide with the florals I'm going to turn it over glue it and cut it and then I have my wreath all done I'm going to cut out another portion of this ribbon and wrap it around the top there and put some hot glue. This is going to be my hanger at the top. Well, where my hanger is going to go. And then I'm taking this wired garland. I'm using two of these. I found this at the 99 cent store and I just love it. I'm going to double it up and then double it up again. Um, so each section of that garland is going to be four pieces of the garland. And the reason I'm doing that is just to give it a more thicker look. Um, of course, it's your preference, however you want to wrap your garland around a wreath. <laughs> but this is just the way that I prefer to do it. So um, this is a wired garland, so it's very easy to just wrap around. And now starting at the bottom, where I know I'm going to put my floral, I'm going to start at the exact same spot as the other side, and then just continue to wrap the garland up the wreath. 
And then I actually decided instead of the hydrangea wreath, I wanted to use the leaves of those little kind of foam balls from the Dollar Tree. And then I cut off uh, some of the little Easter eggs on the bouquet. With the leaves, I just kind of put them on top of each other and, you know, kind of made like um, uh, almost like a box shape and then put my little eggs into the center and then wrapped them around. I had one extra green leaf so I cut that in half and glued it to the back of my floral kind of foam here to make like a star shape. I then cut my regular burlap and matched the same size piece for the second star kind of floral arrangement. I put some glue and folded it in half and then I just glued it to the sides of each arrangement and then I did the same thing with the white satin ribbon. I made two equal parts and glued those onto itself at the base and glued them right into the center of the burlap and then glued my kind of star arrangements. I then took my hot glue gun and put some glue onto the bottom and placed um, the floral there. I took some hydrangea flowers and filled in the top and then I decided to make another bow for the bottom so this one I made the bow exactly the same as before I just added tails to this and then here I am just bending the tails to give it kind of that more um, fluffy look I guess and then I just hot glued it to the bottom of my wreath there and then I took one more of those little Easter eggs and filled it right into the gap of the center and here's how it looks you can obviously use this just as a spring wreath if you want you don't have to add the bunny but I really love the idea of just kind of having the bunny hang in the center of the wreath. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video and were inspired. If you were, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new, and tap the bell for notifications. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!